right we are recording um okay thanks to everyone who joined and good to see everybody so the agenda that uh, was composed by and shared by uh, um, loa is being shown uh, as usual uh, last item is any other business and uh, feel free to suggest other business and uh, bash the order of one two and three if you disagree and we are now 10. oh great we crossed that threshold <laughs> Okay, so the first item on our agenda was to review the action item uh, uh, action items that we keep track of, and let me switch to the uh, action item page. I'll edit it so that we can log updates. Um, the open action item, the first one we have is uh, there was a suggestion for. Um, coming up with a unified solution and um, you know I am from memory the agenda had this on item number two uh, so I will I will skip over this because we will be talking about it uh, uh, we will be talking about this uh, uh, in detail uh, on the next item but uh, if anyone if we want to log anything in terms of update uh, now, I'm willing to take that. Um, but any discussions will happen after I finish the uh, uh, brushing up the uh, action items. Mm, so I'm fine to skip over this altogether. Mm. OK. Uh, I'm skipping over the first uh, open item and going on to the next. Um, the next uh, one was, you know, some action items came out of from ITF 114 meeting. Uh, something related to the user defined actions and uh, we we logged in some update. Uh, I think here. Uh, so, uh, user-defined actions, last time we met, we logged in an action item uh, against the authors of the requirements draft to retry the discussion. So there is an action item on Stuart, John, and Matthew. Uh, they were going to meet and uh, consider using the term private use instead of user defined. So any update on this? Did, did... We haven't had an opportunity to meet yet. So the plan is to meet this week? About tomorrow afternoon. I can do tomorrow afternoon, then I'm going on holiday next week, so um, it'll have to be tomorrow afternoon. All right. Um, John, he's on the call. No, he's not. How about we propose two o'clock our time tomorrow afternoon to John? And Matthew, can you, can you, you you're probably better off, better at setting a conference call up. Yeah, I will do. We'll just propose it and you and I will at least meet. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. So there was a discussion last time on the metrics that we can collect uh, so that we can compare against or evaluate multiple proposals. Uh, 
we took an action item on the chairs last time that we will compose a proposal or compose uh, i don't uh don't remember we discussed that in the chairs meeting um mm, let me let me revert this back anyone else from the chairs you know want to talk about metrics Uh, the question is to the chairs, uh, the open design team chairs. Or we want to leave this to the design team to come up with the metrics. Uh, I guess uh, you know, all falls back to the first uh, um, uh, open item that we want to discuss as well. Should we come up with a unified solution or still evaluate multiple? Okay. I, I see Loa raising his hand, but not speaking. Oh, yeah, because you haven't told me to. Uh, <laughs> no, I, th I think we can re refer this to the shares meeting on on Tuesday, can't we? Uh, and see what we want to do. Uh, against the background of the today's discussion and uh, yeah, where we are. Uh, with which way we're going, uh, but it could also be that we want to evaluate some of the solutions because they they can be contributions to a, even if we decide to go for a unified solutions, they might give us input. So it, it, we, we we could want to do uh, some evaluation of one or the other that <clears throat> so okay i um i got it so we will um have a discussion on different views on unified solution versus evaluation of multiple solutions uh i did log in an update on this um I'm happy with moving on on this action item. Okay. Uh, so there is in the next action item we're tracking is a, uh, a, a discussion between the multiple solution drafts uh, authors, a meeting happening or a discussion. And uh, there was nothing reported in the last two weeks. Um, of such a meeting or discussion. Um, anything changed since? Can anyone update us on this? <coughs> okay. Okay. Um, not many, uh, not many authors I see, but I do see some. Uh, some are missing in action as well. Uh, I'll uh, consider this no report, no progress reported. Unfortunately. Okay, I will move on. Uh, the next, um, the next action item was on a draft uh, with first nibble uh, that we uh, we discussed last time, and the last time we said that uh, control word can be signaled today. That's indeed beer can support both control plane and data plane. Need to take stance. On MNA PSD, um, I can I see that Kiriti is not attending, but um, 
uh, the co-authors of this, of this draft, have you met any stance uh, has been taken? Um, any one of the attending authors can update? Not that I'm aware of. Is there a meeting scheduled to discuss this, or is this just a discussion over email? Is you know planning to do that over email? Uh, I'm I'm not sure. I need to check. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. With this, we have uh, finished brushing up the um, action items. Um, so this is, mm, unfortunately, we did, we did not uh, conclusively update many of them, but that's fine. Hopefully next week we will be able to close some. Um, I will save this state and go back to the agenda of today. And the next item on our agenda is to discuss a proposal that came out last week. I think Tony presented that. Uh, and the proposal was to restart the work on the solutions drafts um, and coming up maybe with a unified solution. And the statement that we, uh, um, the chairs have met on Tuesday and and uh, we need for us to make a decision we need uh, input from the design team and the authors of the solutions drafts like we need more input i guess that's a statement we're putting out and uh, this is an open call for the design team to give input on this proposal and i'm opening the floor for people to come to the mic and give their opinions. Now don't be shy. Uh, give your opinion bluntly. Tony, go ahead. So I'll just ask a provocative question. If we aren't going to go down the path of a single proposal, how do we ever converge on bringing all the other proposals together? Yeah, I mean, that's... Uh, mm. Oh, That's one way um, to think of it. Go ahead. Lewis. One of the things we can do is we can anoint one as the standards track proposal and if, and any others that survive as informationals or maybe on the independent stream. But we either pick one or we merge one uh, or we merge them. And I think the onus is on um, uh, the various authors to try their best to do the merge. Or if they want to be on their own, then um take a risk that uh, they won't be picked as the standard does anyone got any better proposals <clears throat> yeah it would be strange that the working group pushes more than one solution uh so it has happened in the past. So uh, as Matthew will recall, in the early days of uh, Pseudowire, we had uh, a number of competing solutions. And we did resolve this by picking one as the standard. And the other two were just published for the information of the community. Hmm. 
this was on the um but it took a it was a very painful process and took a long time and um uh, there was a lot of blood and bruising around i, I think it depended there, there were two approaches because one i i recall we did that yep and we ended up with um and i think you're talking about possibly the tdm yeah i am yes 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 but but in the atm case and caps we we munched them all into one draft <laughs> oh that's um, right uh, but and, only a fraction and, of and kind of let the market decide <laughs> which the market had already decided anyway um uh, yeah and only one was implemented in practice wasn't it yeah only one yes. was only, only one was already implemented so um uh or certainly deployed anyway mm. um, but yeah, so we tried both approaches, <laughs> but but we know we didn't. Um, the, the, but the ATM case, although they were kind of munged into one draft, we did find a way of accommodating them and positioning them within that draft. But I do agree. Ideally, it would be better to have one one solution, mm. one one either one standards track solution, or we sort of pick the common elements from the current solutions and and put that forward as a a new common solution. One way or the other. Yeah. Um, it does not... need. It does need some willingness, doesn't it, on the part of the um, of the authors to 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 try and make that work. I I I'm wondering, uh, based on your question, Stewart. So for this to um, you know happen, the, wouldn't a unified solution have to come out? Mm. As at least a draft show itself in a in a draft, and then then it becomes the, you know the design team and de facto. So do we need do we need at least a skeleton of a unified solution to come out? And, um, well, well, one of the things you can do is to tell is is to pick an editor, and. Um, um, ask them to um, to try and pull that together right right okay and then it's, it's it's up to people to try and and, and make it work it, it did require some pretty tough chairing in pseudo wire to make that work by the way so w w in that case that you're talking about uh, the unified draft yeah was it made up from the authors like uh, uh, the editor and as well the co-authors of that so i'm um, the story goes as, as i remember and it's going back on many many years is danny mcpherson um who is someone not known for taking many prisoners um said right there's either going to be one or none um and um uh, you two get in a room and figure out what you're going to do there were only two lead authors. And he would have um, said none. Okay. But, but I don't feel that's a style of chairman, a, a chair that, 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 you know, that it is a different style of chair, right? Okay. Uh, for you, you're next in the queue. I'm not holding you back. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, I, I just want to mention another uh, example um, is uh, SRV6, uh, uh, SRH uh, compression schemes. There are also, there are also multiple proposals and uh, finally they uh, settled down a consolidated uh, solution. I think uh, uh, the method there is, uh, uh, is to find uh, actually um, work uh, by the design team together and uh, to find uh, some uh, common set of uh, metrics uh, to evaluate the um, pros cons of the different design principles, principles, and then uh, choose uh, the best one. So, I think uh, the approach is uh, also can be applied here because um, currently I see that this different proposals um, they have very different design principles uh, there, and that they have. Uh, different implementations to the uh, 
uh, um, performance and uh, some other um, uh, metrics uh, indicators. So, so we, I think we do need uh, uh, to do that first. So I think the first task we we do need to find a common set of uh, evaluation metrics. We all agree then based on that we just uh, compare, and and these we can um, uh, we can decide a set of. Uh, Common metrics, and then based on that, we can pick the, what's the right way to go. Um, otherwise, we I, I I don't think it's a reasonable just to force to combine this um, because they they are basically different approaches. I, I see no point to um, put that just put them together. Thank you. Are you uh, Loa? Go ahead. Yes, a further comment on what we have done uh, in our history. For example, the L2 VPN uh, working group actually put two different documents on standard tracks. So it has also been done. I do not recommend it. I just say that uh, if we do looking at history, we can find example that uh, actually could be used to uh, try to motivate whatever you want to do. So we should be a little bit careful. Uh, having that said, uh, from a shares point, uh, some type of merging or kind of unifying is uh, attractive. However, uh, we won't go down that way that road if we don't have a kind of strong buy-in so it's a, for me it's a buy-in that's the important thing if we have enough people that says yes uh, then we can do it if we have enough people that no then we won't do it and they will, we'll do something else uh g go ahead Hi, yeah, I just want to conquer what how you just mentioned. Uh, we need first to uh, agree on a set of metrics for the evaluation of the existing solutions. Uh, this has been the uh, a method uh, used for the SRH compression design team and also in the NVO3 encapsulation design team. They also, the first thing they did is to uh, evaluate the, the existing solutions and to figure out uh, the issues with the existing each solutions and also to list uh, the considerations which can be used to evaluate the other the existing solutions or a common one. So I, I think this is the first thing we need to agree on. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. I uh, I will go next. So one way we, uh, that the, the chairs have followed in the past, in you know, uh, they were an, in resolving disagreements or not different opinions or views, is to resolve to the poll on the email list. Um, you know, we we uh, send out a poll, and this is not a new idea. We discussed it in a previous meeting and. Uh, so one way is to, uh, you know, we have different views that we heard today as well. Uh, one is to continue on um, evaluation of the different proposals against some metrics. And the other one is to start coming up with a unified uh, solution. So uh, one way is to send out a poll and see, you know, uh, give it a week or two and see how the feedback of the working group you know, converges on. Mm, that's another way. So what? Go ahead. Go ahead, Loa. Sorry, muted. Yeah, uh, yeah. 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 So, a uh, question to you. Uh, when do you think we can send out such a poll? What in what time frame? 
Yeah, I think uh, if, um, I mean, we don't see several people are missing in action today. Um, and maybe they're on off on a vacation, it's August. So people are, you know, on last vacation before starting uh, September. Uh, um, so yeah, I think we can start it right after this meeting if we agree that uh, we can compose mm, a proposal uh, over email between the chairs and and then send it out as we agree uh, on the write up. Um, but we need to give it some time, maybe two weeks for getting the feedback. So sending it maybe uh, over email, we can start discussing the write up. I think that's my pro my view at least. Okay, go ahead. Uh, so, well, I think I just heard how you and D say that they don't want to do the unified way. They want to do the evaluation and pick the best. So the, I think that's a rather, uh, a rather strong uh, opinion for for that also. So that that's why I asked about the time frame. What do we need to actually agree on before we can do it? What do we need to agree on before we can do the poll? The write up of the poll, right? And I mean, I, I understand Jimmy and Huayu's opinion, and as well others who said, you know, the unified solution is the right way to go. So these are two views, and. I guess the poll will be trying to answer which view we will adopt. Um, and this is how I interpreted it. Um, Jimmy, go ahead. Yeah, I just want to clarify that, uh, uh, in my opinion, the evaluation and the metric will be needed uh, no matter whether we choose pick one existing solution or we. Uh, find out that uh, neither of them can meet all the metrics and we need a, maybe a new one. Uh, we need a metric uh, uh, any, anyway. So that uh, means uh, even if we build a new one, we also need a metric to evaluate whether this one is better than the existing one. That is, uh, so that is, uh, I think, the first step before we can move to uh, converge the solution. Okay, how uh, are you? Yeah, I, I just also want to clarify. I, I'm not up against the, the you know to to get a finalized um uni, uni, unified solution. I mean, what I mean is um, um now uh, we have several proposals. We maybe some of them contain uh, each of them contains some valuable points that can be contributed to the final solutions and uh, so that's why we need to evaluate that so and uh, then um, based on the best um, practice and to, to choose the best um, best design uh, so 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 it's a very it's, it's likely it's possible that the final solution will kind of um, you know um, have something here and some something from there but uh, uh, I'm not saying we we just uh, uh, want to pick one without any change and uh, just discuss others. That's not my point. Okay, thank you, Tony. Um, so I guess the real point here is if you're going to take a poll, it really needs to be about the mechanism for making the decision not about the, the lower levels. We should up-level our questions. And, and we had a lot of good input from Matthew in his experience. You know, there are lots of ways that we can choose to make this decision and that will not necessarily turn out well. Um, so we want to really, really take a long, hard thought about how we make this call. Mm. Who are you? Who are you? you Sorry, I have a, yeah, I just forget to lower, lower my hand. Okay, Aloha, you're next. 
Yeah, I think Tony said most of what I was about to say. Uh, the the thing is for at least to um, uh, how you uh, maybe also to me. Uh, I don't think Tony's proposal is to pick one and work with that. Uh, he talked about the unified solution, which I interpret as take what we have, merge them into one one document and compare against whatever metrics we have. But Tony can clarify that if you want. Uh, it was not so much the mix and merge philosophy as let's start from a clean slate and figure out what we agree on and try to make a proposal out of all of what we agree on. Yes, but you're not saying take one and work on that. You no. you saying take a clean slate and start start all over again. Yes, uh, based on based on what we have in uh, our existing documents today. Exactly. Thanks. Okay, um, Loa, you're lowering your hand, right? Okay, why you? Go ahead. Yeah, um, to me, I, I feel that's also um, from clean slate is um, also uh, seems unnecessary. The, the, the problem is uh, very clear and uh, you know, I, I can see uh, each solution is also um, cover it all and uh, but see basically from some very different uh, angles or different perspective uh, or methods to to solve it. So, um, you know, I, 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 I don't feel, you know, it's necessary just to from start from scratch and uh, then you might end up just to put one solution. Um, mainly uh, based on that and put it in, into it again. So why we want to duplicate this effort? Um, we have re already have this. We should start to evaluate them, you know, based on some solid metrics. I think that's what we need to do. As we can, uh, everybody understand that and agree, you know, then, then we can just uh, based on, on one of the solution and uh, try to add some other uh, reasonable um, modifications to it and uh, finally to form a, the final solution. So I think that's the easiest way to go uh, rather than we try to start from scratch and because of, we still don't know which is the best way to go yet. Interesting. Okay. Uh, the 20, you, you're going next. Sure. I just wanted to respond to that. So we could go down that path. Um, history suggests that what will happen, and this is pretty clear, is that we will just continue to argue about what's important and what's not. And we will focus on divisions and not on consensus. And the argument will continue indefinitely, and we will end up not making good progress on getting to something that we all agree on. Yeah, I will, uh, you know, continue this thought. I've raised my hand. Um, there was a proposal to follow the same uh, idea of, you know, pr pursuing the multiple proposals and evaluating them and then documenting for uh how each uh um, um you know uh plays against uh, different metrics uh, in srv6 work or in segment routing working group uh, you know it was mentioned that this happened if my memory serves me well there were that there were two options that were adopted up till today for the compression um in the micro sid and the other one uh, can't remember now what term but there are still two options that the uh, working group decided to pursue in the same draft 
and I don't know if that, you know, even with the evaluation, um, there were two solutions uh, pursued, uh, which is interesting. Well, expect that evaluation of metrics might not converge on one. Yeah, why well, you uh, can uh, you you brought up the compression uh, SRH compression, um, but yeah, if you remember, there were two options adopted. Yeah, the, 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 so so that that's that's possible. Um, in in that scenario, um, um, but here I I don't see um, we would end up like that. And I, I, I still feel a single unified solution is a better output. Okay, uh, Tony, go ahead. So let me risk starting a fight by suggesting something very provocative. How you please consider the, the situation where if we go down that path, your proposal has no input. It becomes not selected and something else is chosen entirely. Are you okay with that? Uh, excuse me, can you uh, restate? I didn't hear clearly. Uh, I'm asking you to consider a scenario in which case we go down this path and your proposal is not adopted. Which proposal? Your proposal. It's not uh, adopted, and someone else's proposal is adopted. Lock, stock, and barrel. Are you okay with that? Well, I, I, I don't understand what you mean. Which, which proposal is not adopted? You have a proposal on the table. Yes? Yes. If we go down the path that you're proposing, where we sit and evaluate different proposals and pick one, what happens if yours is not chosen? Are you going to be okay with that? Of course, that's okay. If if I think that's a that's the whole point of the working group work, right? We we we, we always try to pick the most of, uh, the best one. I I I don't think uh, I am. <laughs> Why is it not okay? Uh, because uh, it's not up to me. Uh, it's up to the working group to decide. Okay. Well, I, I've raised my hand, so I'm I'm going to ask this question bluntly. I mean, we've been meeting every Thursday since, and we've been trying to select the best. Um. You know, I, I'm not sure how would someone uh, be able to select the best. I mean, we've, we've been trying to select the best. Do you think like saying that we want to select the best will make us select the best? I don't know. Um, I think the attitude of we want to come up with a unified solution might let us find it. And how long do we think that we will take? That's interesting. Uh, um, Matthew, go ahead. Um, just just to reflect on the NPO3 experience again, was we, we actually had a fairly small design team to do this selection. Um, I think it was, if I recall, it was like an, one of the editors from each of the drafts plus one or two others. And And I know that this is a technically a design team, but it's pretty open and big. And we, we basically had a closed design team where we sent them away and said, go come to a decision and document your your process. Like write a draft which makes a recommendation and explain why. So it was it was quite focused um and and uh, you know uh, and like I say a very small a much smaller number of stakeholders. So, Matthew, just to follow up, are you saying that there would be another parallel meeting happening between this subset of people 
um, uh, and and they will converge, um, or that's the the way. Uh, well, that's that's yeah, that's the way we did it because because the the um, to be honest, the number of active people in MVO three at the time that were talking and debating the drafts was probably similar to some of the larger meetings that we've had in this design team, which I think we got up to around twenty at times. Um, so, but but the actual. Um, DT that did the did the decision or made the recommendation was much smaller than than this open than most of these open design team meetings have been, and much more focused. So I, I don't know if that's the right way you, you would. Cause it's, I know it seems a bit strange to have a design team with a des, within a design team, but uh, um, I'm just just reflecting that that's that's the way the way we did it. Okay, thank you. All right. Uh, Tony, you're next. Go ahead. So I'll just suggest again that, you know, the, perhaps the best way to find what we have consensus on is to start by agreeing on uh, how we're going to design things um, one feature at a time. Uh, find commonality and build on that. Trying to make a decision and exclude other people's ideas is going to be very hard on everyone and it's not going to result in forward progress rapidly. Matthew? Yeah, I agree, actually. Uh, maybe, maybe the, what, that, you know, if, if we can agree on some basic structural stuff from all the solutions that we all agree on, maybe have an architecture draft that pulls out i mean the framework goes some way towards that but maybe a like a standards track architecture that goes through and says right there's this 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 set of bits is used for this and that set of bits irrespective of the internal structure of that field but this field is used for this and that field is used for that um that might be easier to agree on first so so basically look at look at what we can agree on rather than um that, that is common to all the to all the proposals, if there is anything. Mm. Lower. Um, so, Matthew, you're not talking about an architecture document, really. You're talking about a, a solutions document uh, outline or template or something like that, isn't? Aren't you? Um. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then I understand you. Thanks. Okay. Jimmy. I just want to know uh, what Tony mentioned uh, uh, one feature at a time. What is called a feature in this case? Is a PSD a feature and ISD another feature? Yes, absolutely. Okay, uh, so I think we have uh, maybe next the topic is about the uh, the design on the PSD. So maybe uh, it seems we have some more converge on this PSD part, and we can see whether we can finish this first. Uh, a good question. So we will talk more about item number three, but uh, I, I want to still uh, follow up on this approach of coming up with the outline document. Um, it seems that this is uh, the document, the unified solution document that you know could evolve from finding the common uh, common ground between the different approaches. You know, document them in such an outline document, and then it becomes uh, it evolves to the solution we're looking for. Is that the thinking, or I mean, mm, or we will have this document? Um, you know, it's it's a standalone document that gives a directive to the solution document. It 
if the former, then it's uh, we can kick start it, and you know, there's no roadblocks. Jimmy, go ahead. Yeah, I, uh, to me, the outline of the solution seems like the what do we call the design principle uh, in the in my previous presentation. I think maybe it will be helpful if we can first agree on the some of the, the some of the major design principles that will also help the, the discussion on the different solutions. I'm, I'm not sure whether that will be part of the uh, a new a converted solution that is uh, like a general principles which can be maybe also be part of the framework. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't see anyone else uh, wanting to comment on number on item number two. Uh, there is some juggling of the different proposals that we talked about today that we need as design team chairs to discuss uh, and find a way uh, moving forward. So there were multiple options there, and um, I'll try to record them in. Uh, in the minutes, and we will discuss them. Uh, I'll move on, on, move on to the next item. Uh, but before I do that, let me just confirm, um, you know, at least with the chairs, um, are we comfortable to, to stop on item number two now, or you want to continue on debating it? Do we have the ammunition we want? Yeah. Now I th I think uh, I can go either way. Uh, I would hate to have someone sitting holding someone, and I'm not sure that if he wants to say it or not. But uh, if we don't have that, I think we can stop here. It doesn't seem anyone wants to say something else okay so let's move on uh, to action uh, or uh, item number three we have a document uh, uh, that was produced uh, by uh, Hoyu and others uh, it describes a solution for encoding post stack data and many specific post stack data um, so normally the procedure for uh, the MPLS working group to adopt a document is for it to go through an MPLS review team review uh, and then basically progress to the working group adoption. Um, <clears throat> we discussed uh, the, pro the pro process in the last meeting we had and between the chairs and uh, so we will replace this. Uh, sorry about the noise. We will replace this step. Um, by the chairs, uh, multiple chairs reviewing, committing to review the document and providing um, some feedback. And we have a milestone date set, which is the end of the month, uh, August. <clears throat> uh, after which we will decide if we will progress on adopting this or not. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, you know, I get a feeling that even the discussion points that we had on item number two might reflect on this process. Uh, do we want a uni do, do we want to wait on a unified solution? Uh, but anyway, and we will provide, we will review this proposal, at least from the chair's perspective. And I, I uh, remember, you know, at least partially giving some comments on this. And uh, I saw Loa started to give comments, uh, but this could as well be uh, potentially uh, part of a unified solution, I guess. Uh, and let me see if uh, people disagree with this. 
Okay. Uh, Loa, go ahead. Uh, so what uh, Tarek said first, and then yes, to say that uh, I, we put this on the agenda just to make uh, clear that we have a slight deviation from the MPLSRT uh, review process and the chair stepping in and doing the MPLSRT review. And we also put it on the agenda to open up for for questions if there are any, either on process or on uh, the, uh, the the reviews. And basically we treat this as a document that we received a working group adoption request for, uh, whether anything will happen when, if we go for uh, the unified solution is still an open question, and uh, just for the time being, we treat the document in its own right. Okay, uh, the, there is an open call for the whole design team to review this um, document and flag any disagreement with it. Um, you know, so it, it, it's uh, open for everyone. Uh, uh, but expect, uh, you know, uh, this might progress after the end of the month uh, to, to adoption poll. Um, so at that time, you know, your comments are also welcome to be flagged. Um, with this, I will move on to the last item on today's agenda, which is to ask you if you want to discuss any other business. All right. Uh, Tony, go ahead. Uh, so back on the previous point, um, I would. I think we don't want to go take this to adoption. Um, you know, if you do this, you're going to end up getting adoption requests from all proposals, and we're going to have a big fight about trying to get adopted. And it would be better if we not adopt anything until we make a decision on how we make forward progress in this area. Okay, thank you for flagging this uh, now, Tony. Loa, go ahead. So, Tony, yes, we are aware of that. Uh, and uh, actually, the discussion on a unified solution or not uh, will, be, will be important. Thank you, Loa. Who are you? Yeah, I just want to respond to uh, Tony and who thinks that's a legitimate argument. Because what we, we consider what to adoption adopt is a uh, based on the uh, maturity of the proposal and uh, you know it's not uh, based on the merit itself and not become because some other uh, depends on other proposals uh, in my view this uh, we have a clearly have a two uh, separate type uh, 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 group of the proposals one is for the PSD and one is for the ISD they are um, Naturally, they are independent with each other, so one can uh, proceed without the other part. So that that means uh, if one uh, solution is mature enough and uh, you know it's again the uh, working group consensus, it it can proceed. However, the, the, it's it's a totally applied for the to the current situation, right? We can see the PSD there's um, uh, just one uh, solution proposal, and we have. Um, it's all the parties all you know uh, during the past the discussions we have seen people all agree with this solution so it's it should go ahead and uh, but uh, it's, it's not uh, the situation doesn't apply the other um, uh, part of the situation for the SD we do have a uh, multiple proposals we, so we need to settle settle down and uh, uh, get the best solution that we can proceed so I think this uh, this two are to the independent process so we, sh we shouldn't bind them together. Uh, we can, um, uh, you know, reasonably conceive that in in the future uh, we can 
have the situation uh, for for some use cases we only use a PSD, and for some cases we we might only use a ISD, and uh, in, in yet in other cases we use both. So to benefit the, this to accelerate the process, so it's a, it's a I think it's good to have just a one at least like workable part that can can go go ahead first, then uh, rather than just waiting everything as you settled down. That's my opinion. Okay, are you? Thank you, uh, Tony. You're next. Uh, thank you for that. Um, if there is a real dichotomy, I think that it's between uh, your proposal, which is PSD only, and the other proposals, which have both in stack and post stack data. And uh, I think that your proposal has uh, very carefully precluded in stack data and everyone is going to object to adoption on that basis. Um, I think that uh, if we really are going to move forward, um, creating more conflict is not going to help. And uh, I think it would be better to hold off on adoption until we get consensus on some forward progress. Okay, great. Uh, Greg? Um, thank you. Um, I agree with Tony that um, co-adoption of this particular solution uh, seems uh, premature. Uh, what I would encourage is uh, to previous discu earlier discussion today is um, think of uh, how we can um, reduce the number of proposals. So uh, it could be either uh, offers of um, existing uh, proposals, um, discuss it uh, among themselves, and then present uh, their uh, conclusions uh, to the uh, open design team. Or if we find ourselves in an impasse, uh, then um, probably chairs can uh, make a decision on how to achieve that. Thank you. Thank you, Greg. Uh, how are you? Yeah, I think uh, all the um, SD proposals actually uh, point to this this document is it's clear size and mature enough. So I don't know uh, why Greg says it's a premature. I'd want to he uh, gave a specific reason. So, so what was the consideration? Why, why is it premature? Uh, in, in my view, it's a, you know, for the PSD is a standalone uh, problem. It's a, it's a, it, 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 it involves many different uh, issues and problems and uh, it's enough content to, 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 uh, to have a, a standalone document to describe that. And as long as it's a clear, it can be clearly, it can be part of the other proposals. Um, and and uh, the good, good things now is already uh, working that way. And, uh, you know, it's, a, it's, it's a generally accepted as a post sex solution. Uh, so it can be an integral, integral part of the final uh, overall solution. So, and uh, I, I, I think this document is a good to just solve as a, um, this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this piece of the problem and uh, give a solid solution that can contribute to that overall picture. Okay, thank you for you. Uh, I do have Jimmy at the top. Uh, go ahead, Jimmy. Uh, I think we have been discussed uh, for a long time that the relationship between ISD and PSD and the, the conclusion that uh, is uh, in the framework of both uh, optional in the packet and the PSD is a uh, necessary pieces uh, a necessary piece of the overall architecture uh, so I see PSD is not a standalone solution it is one feature or one component of this uh, the overall solution and uh, just like Tony said before uh, we think we can uh, work on uh, one feature at a time and the PSD seems like the first one we can work on and then 
uh, we can also work on the several options of the ISD, but these two are independent. I see. And also as how you mentioned, uh, all these uh, solution drafts uh, already reference to this uh, uh, PSD uh, mechanism and I see that as one part of the integral solution. So I see this is not uh, depend on the overall solution design and this is uh, also independent from the ISD uh, comparison. We can move it forward uh, uh, independently. Thank you. Uh, Greg, go ahead. Yes, thank you. <clears throat> um, uh, I'm very encouraged that uh, uh, the proponents of the solution believe that it can be part of their uh, overall integrated single solution. Um, I do have my reservation, but I would be uh, um, recommending that um, offers spend some more time and demonstrate how this solution can be uh, integrated with the Instag data um, solution as a single solution. So not different modes, but a single solution. So uh, if this uh, encoding uh, schema supports uh, post tag data, then uh, demonstrate how indicators identify that and how um, that allows for instec data. That would be sufficient. Again, um, in my opinion, in my experience, uh, when um, considering uh, working group adoption, the solution has to be viable. So um, I believe that it's okay not to have all details spelled out, but the mechanism uh, has to be clear enough to indicate uh, what um, problem to be solved. And I believe that uh, we reached uh, agreement that a solution must support, must be able to support, not necessarily used, but must be able to support both in-stack data and post-stack data. Okay, thank you. Okay, Greg, thanks. Loa? Just to remind people where we are. So in the process on adopting a document as a working group document, we are at the point where we have received a request to adopt the document as a working group document. At that point, we do a fairly extensive review about three or four weeks before we decide if we want to go ahead or not. And a decision if we want to go ahead or not uh, is at the current moment not clear and it will be taken by the working group shares as soon as we have enough information about what we want to do i would also like to point out that the uh, proposal on a unified solution is kind of a strong input uh, to, to take that decision also thanks okay uh why you yeah, uh, first to uh, Greg that uh, um, for the uh, feasibility, uh, you can look all the uh, existing proposals, they uh, refer uh, this uh, PSD solution, encoding solution already. And uh, uh, it, it's a, <clears throat> uh, the solution is uh, already there. I think it's quite feasible. And uh, we also have several solid use cases and, uh, and um, so, so uh, we we will demonstrate how how it supports some um, 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 some very useful use cases uh, use, using it. Um, also, you no, know, we we design is actually uh, un, under the guideline of the architecture and the requirement document. Those are those uh, we we don't don't violate that. So, 
um, so comply, but rather than we just uh, we, we just uh, comply with those uh, two guideline document. So it's um, I think this all show the, the feasibility of this uh, this design. So another point I want to raise that um, uh, Wim is not on the uh, call today, but he raised a valid point. I think is uh, helpful that uh, we all agree that PSD is necessary uh, because we do have some use cases need PSD. But as the the necessity of a ISD is unclear yet, so it, he suggests we actually um, evaluate the use case. Um, uh, case by case to 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 actually um, decide if we actually need the SD at all. So so we haven't done that. I think. So uh, then we 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 now the situation is the PSD is necessary and we have a the single solution. Everybody agree, and uh, and it's useful. And so so I, I in my opinion we should definitely go ahead to proceed this one. But on the other, we do need more work. Uh, so, uh, so, so just based on the situation, I think uh, it's it's beneficial uh, for the uh, working group to. Uh, uh, otherwise, we were just uh, stuck there and we never uh, make any progress. And uh, um, but the, the better strategy is uh, is to see which parts are clearly uh, useful and mature enough. We just go ahead to move that, and uh, then meanwhile we. Uh, work on the other part, so that's my uh, opinion. Okay, thank you, Tony. Um, my first comment is the chairs about document adoption. Um, it seems to me that when you have competing proposals and you have an adoption request from one of the proposals, that it is well within the chair's uh, purview to say that we're not going to adopt anything at this point. Um, this is without comment on the technical merits or demerits of the proposal. It's just a process decision. Um, as to in stack data, we've been over the requirement for doing in stack data time and time and time again. We can go over it some more. Uh, the fact that Huawei doesn't agree with it doesn't mean that the rest of us don't agree. And so you might want to think about that. Okay, Tony, uh, just to flag before I go back to the queue that the uh, process for adoption was discussed last time. And I remember Loa also raising that, uh, you know, it's a decision for the chairs to decide which pro which document to progress uh, in the process of uh, adoption. Um, so th that, uh, that mm, discussion point came up and um you know the, what we're collecting here is actually trying to uh you know steer the decision for the chairs to um you know, take a way forward so indeed these points that we're collecting today we will will serve uh um a good uh, you know incentive for the chairs to find a way forward thanks um jimmy you're in the queue yeah <clears throat> Just want to emphasize that uh, the PSD extension header draft is not a competing proposal to the rest of the solutions. Uh, actually, it is referenced by the rest of the solutions, so they're not competing. This is, uh, I think, we want to make it clear. And the second is uh, the concerns on the ISD is not just uh, raised by Huawei. People and I think this is uh, they are from the top, uh, from the poll in the mailing list. Several people show their concerns on this uh, ISD and uh, suggest to minimize its usage. So I think this is also documented in the mailing list. Okay, thanks. Okay, Tony. Well, Jimmy, it's very nice to know that someone Huawei is okay with ISD, but I have yet to figure out who that really is. I, I have heard you today say some things conciliatory, but then you turn around and say that it's not important. Um, so I'm having a hard time processing that. Um, 
you know, we've been back and forth and yes, we've heard you say that ISD is bad and, and you know, message received, but we disagree and that's not going to change. And repeating yourself is not going to change the opinions of the rest of the world. Uh, the rest of us, we care about performance. We see that there is going to be a whole lot of usage of MNA with network slicing and entropy and uh, and and FRR bits, and, and we kind of want that stuff up front for performance reasons. And you, we've discussed this, and you, you don't seem to get that. Um, and there's a whole lot of legacy hardware out there that can't be reaching into PSD for every packet. Um, and that makes it a non-starter. And that hardware is not going to go away just because you don't like it. Okay, Jimmy. Yeah, I think I just forgot to lower my hand, but uh, I just want to remind uh, Tony that it's not just my my opinion on the on the concerns of the ISD. It shows uh, you can check the record uh, the archive of the mailing list discussion. Greg, um, thank you. Um, I agree with Tony, and uh, uh, what I wanted to point is that we need to be careful about uh, making stat statements about what is the consensus of the working group. Um, and uh, again, um, I think that need to keep in mind that uh, option to support certain functionality is uh, important, if not essential, to the good uh, architecture of solution, the design. Whether that option is used, that's um, implementers. Uh, decision. So, if somebody doesn't want to use ISD, fine. But forcing others, denying others option to use ISD, I cannot agree with that position. Thank you. Okay. Uh, for you. Yeah, I just want to make it clear and uh, I never said is uh, we won't exclude the possibility of ISD. We just uh, want to reflect that there's also many others opinions that so far we don't have even a single uh, solid uh, example, uh, you know, use case for the ISD. We, we need to start from there. We, we force this need to settle down. It's, a, it's absolutely necessary uh, to have that. Then we we can have the a solution for that. So, you, you know, the, I, I understand there are some listed and in, uh, even in Creatis um, uh, proposal, there are some use case list there, but we haven't carefully examined that yet because uh, I, uh, during the past discussions, we read several uh, issues. This all have a very, uh, you know, um, some, some uh, implications on the actual, uh, processing of it, we don't have a, a clear answer to that yet. So it's just, it's just like we won't have it, then we have SD, then we design it, then we have no clear use cases uh, for that. So I, I don't think that's the right approach. We, every design should be driven by use cases. So so we, we, we need to realize that, you know, uh, the SD uh, is indeed actually introduce a uh, complexity uh to the to the to the design then 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 we must be very careful here about that so uh so 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 in that sense i i, I think we should start to review the use case for sd and then also based on the use case we can come up with some several design principles that's a, that's a that's also helpful for us to design the actual uh, mechanics to support that um, yeah, this, I think this point has been raised several times before, but it's never get addressed. It's just like we uh, start to design the SD anyway and without considering the use case carefully. I don't think that's the right approach. Uh, 
All right, uh, Tony. Uh, so, thank you. We have many use cases. We've worked them out in very careful detail for you. I'm sorry you don't accept them. I invite you as a example to take a look at the entropy label. This is the strongest use case. It is worked out in wonderful detail because we've already done it and implemented it, and it worked, and it was very helpful. I. I, I don't think that's a strong use case because we already have a solution for entropy label. And I don't think this is absolutely necessary to actually implement it again using the new mechanism. So um so itself, yeah, it just could be it's better to have, but they cannot have it. We we don't have it, it's it's perfectly fine. So I don't think that's a strong use case to necessitate the SD. So it's very clear that the entropy label is very necessary because we don't want to go around and carrying MNA and a separate entropy label. That is a horrible bit of complexity. The reason we put the entropy label in the stack is so that we didn't have to reach down into PSD to find entropy information. That's a problem. That's the performance hit that we're trying to avoid. We have the same problem going forward with every other kind of m a action that we care to name. Um, if we want to look at a slice selector because we want to do 5G, well, we want that slice information up front so that we don't have to look at PSD. Looking at PSD is an extreme performance problem for all the legacy hardware that's out there. I won't go on. Okay, uh, Stewart. Right, so I largely agree with um, with Tony, um, uh, and I was going to cite exactly the same one that we already have an existence proof of the need for uh, in stack data in um, MPLS. In fact, we have more of an existence proof of that than we have for uh, post stack data, because not only do we have entropy labels, we have context labels as well, uh, which wouldn't work without um, um, um uh, some sort of in stack um support nor uh, uh, and also um we also have another example of sub stacks which is um the uh extended um, labels so we are already in um in in that game whether you like it or not and it seems obvious that slice is a good example for something you need fast access to um the ability to to generalize that to build a richer quad structure seems exactly the sort of thing you might want in the uh, in the stack because uh, yeah we only got three bits of quads and if you look at um, some of the things that um, uh, your colleague uh, Torless is um, is working on um, admittedly I'm giving him some help um, for um, better ways of getting determinism in the network then again you could build a strong argument for information needed in the stack um for um that um, that hop across the um the sub network so I, I think the case for um in stack data is very strong i think the case for post stack data um for use uh, end to end is uh, strong again we have an existence proof of that with um uh with what's going on what goes on in pseudo wires and and, and detnet um what is not clear is the strength of the case for in stack data for post stack data um to be accessed by nodes in the center of the network and that's because i i'm not entirely sure how many uh implementations will have the absolutely mega uh re deep uh, dpi uh, capabilities that uh, Huawei and I believe Cisco have. Well, I guess Juniper's got it, but it's a, a very expensive piece of um, piece of technology, and um, we should really be engineering those out for many, many reasons. Next person. Sorry, uh, thank you, Stuart and Greg. Go ahead, please. Yes. Well, at this point, um, 
what's left to me is just to say that I concur with uh, Tony and Stuart. And what appears to me is that, yes, we have uh, well entrenched difference in opinions of what is simple and what's complex. So, um, I think that we knew that before uh, today and uh, well, today discussion just uh, reemphasize that um, there are difference in opinions between uh, groups uh, in the open design team. Thank you. Okay, thanks, Greg. Tony? Um, so, the thing I wanted to point out is that this is not just a brand thing, it's also a generation of silicon issue. Um, everyone at this point has access to merchant silicon that has deep buffers. And that's not a problem, but the real issue is that that's not what's deployed today. Um, there's lots of stuff that is older and it does not have that capability. And m and is not going to be deployed if we don't have a solution that is performant on that legacy hardware. But to be clear, Tony, if I may, um, uh, you think those legacy thing, those legacy units can uh, do the uh, in-stack manipulation. In other words, they, they can be re-microcoded to do this. Um, I hope that that's true. I hope that we all take a look at our own implementations and focus on what our implementations can do. I cannot tell you what other vendors' legacy implementations do. Um, actually, I could probably guess, but I don't want to. Um, I won't speak for them. Uh, so, you know, we do have limitations out there and, um, everybody has legacy silicon and that's okay. We're trying to work with everyone's legacy silicon. Yeah, but if I may, that's, um, if a significant fraction of that legacy silicon can be retrained, reprogrammed to do in stack data. Uh, then that's great. If it turns out that the majority of it can't, then I think uh, we have a, a different and bigger problem, but uh, the solution doesn't reside in um, necessarily uh, asserting that in-stack data can be used in any path. I agree, and the hope is that we ensure that we uh, find something that everyone can implement. That is the point of trying to get to consensus. Everyone raises problem, raises issues about things that they have problems with. Yeah, I think we're largely aligned. I just need to figure out how we, um, how we express this to the community and what tests we need to do. Okay. Um, thanks. I'm not sure if why you, you want to comment still, or you. Yeah, I, your... I have some comments um i i, I think uh, um we, we shouldn't try to uh you know the, you know um, make the proposal work for all the legacy devices uh, rather uh, we should guarantee that the design can be incrementally uh, deployed um then it's perfectly fine for the you know uncapable incapable nodes or the unaware nodes that can ignore uh, the the, the packet visa, this MNA, and they can still uh, successfully forward it. So if we can guarantee this, this is a, it's a good enough. So if we want to try to cater all the uh, existing legacy devices, then we, we cannot, I, I think we cannot come up with anything because um, we don't know what the minimum capable nodes uh, in the field have. And uh, yeah, what if uh, some nodes can only uh, process a top label to for the forwarding so it's uh, it's hard to to actually get the 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 the, the least common denominator for all these uh, different devices so rather we should focus on yeah that as a general guideline we should uh, try to minimize the overhead that's for sure but also we should re also realize that um, it's perfectly okay for uh, many devices in the field cannot support this. Uh, as long as they can forward it, that's okay. That's in my, my opinion. 
Okay, that's a different opinion. Tony? Uh, we have representatives on this call for 99% of the legacy devices out there already. Um, and so I don't think that that's a serious issue. Um, as far as only having some nodes address this, uh, it's true that software deployment alone is going to cause only some nodes to address this. But we do want to be in a position where we can actually move forward without doing a hardware swap. Uh, if we are trying to propagate something like a hop by hop action and we find that there's silicon that can't, can't uh, support a particular hop, to hop by hop by action, we're going to find that we're going to take 20 years or more to get that silicon cycled out of the network and we're basically not going to get deployed. That's a real, real problem. Do it. Um, I'm going to close the queue after Stuart. Uh, you get the last say. Go ahead. Stuart? Hey, I'm going to him. Sure. Stewart, are you are you able to hear us? Okay, I do have a hard stop uh, for another meeting that started, uh, um, and um, I will stop right here. Um, anyone wants to last? Uh, word, you know, before we adjourn till next week. Okay, thank you so much, um, and and we'll see you uh, next time around on Thursday. Thanks. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Bye.